Make it. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. 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 Oh shit. Yeah. 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 Good girl. Yes. Get that thing. Shake that thing, Tyro. All right, so you want to know how to get a dog to, to out properly? If they don't know how to out by themselves, they struggle, then this is how. It doesn't hurt her. It's a good way to pop her out. Look, see? If I grab her, she'll try to, like, get on me with her paws. Get a hold of the collar, right? You might get cut. All right, and this is the problem a lot of police officers have is that they don't know how to pull the collar strong enough up because it's hard to. Collar chokes leave too much space, usually, unless it's like a super tight collar, maybe. But even then, I like to get up inside the neck because it's more manual and it's easier for me, okay? This is what I do. Like, you see this this area right here? You have a collar choke and she, it doesn't have, uh, like, there's indents on the sides of her neck. You see what I'm saying? Right here, how I'm pushing? That causes space and that allows for her to still continuously breathe slightly uh, and this is why a rounded out collar mm -hmm. is not good to use um, for, uh, you know, choking a dog off or whatever. See, now if she's got it locked on, right, she's got it locked on for dear life, right? And she's not outing if you're like a police, uh, if she's a police dog or whatever. See how crazy she looks? She gets all psycho, right? Go on, get it, get it, Tiger. Good bite. There you go. So look, if you get it, see how my arm's already getting cut? I don't really care about the pain. I'm like a UFC psychopath, okay? Uh, you know, I, I actually kind of enjoy pain sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get into all that, but the point is, is like, um, if you want to get her off, this is quickly how you got to do it, right? So if you get a hold of her collar like this, all right, you get your hand up into this neck area, and you squeeze that, that area like this. You see how she pops right off? And she can't fight back because I have control of her head. You see what I'm saying? This doesn't harm the dog. This is just to control it. And then you can get her back like this and then resend it. Get it, Tiger! And she'll go back back to doing it. So if you want to see it again, look, okay, I got cuts on my arm right now. I got to cut her claws a little bit. She's getting too long. But um, I like a little claw because of that. See, like the more blood loss in a situation with somebody, you know, the better. So if she's ever going to be sent on someone who's trying to attack me or her, it's good for that. Okay, so look. If I get, she's going crazy, right? If I see, see how she's already pulling on my arms because she doesn't want me to? She knows, his dogs know, when you start to really grapple them, they start to learn how to fight a person realistically. Oh, shit. When you have people who do jujitsu or something like that to your dog, they change their mentality on how to fight people. And they learn jujitsu in some way. They learn things like how to escape holes and how to stop people from holding onto them. That's why she's doing this. Because I grapple with them a lot. You see, she tries to lock down my arm like in jujitsu, right? Because my dogs do jujitsu. Like I've been trying to explain this to people for years. But it's like a, when a dog tries to drive a car, okay? Some dogs can do that. Some dogs can drive golf carts. They can skateboard, whatever. See, if this was a real life situation, she would be trying to bite me in the hands and all that kind of stuff. Because that's really where you want to bite. So I can't grapple her and do techniques to her. She tries to stop. She, she's trying to stop my hands because she knows the deal, right? So if I go like this and see how she's locking down with all that force, she locks down on my arm because she knows what I'm trying to do to her. What I'm trying to do is hold her collar and drive up into that neck and squeeze that little section. You see what I'm saying? Out, Tiger. Out. And she, she, she will not be able to hold on to it. So if you're in a situation with a dog, okay, and he's trying to fight you, all right, you can grip that neck like that and it's all over. She's a solid 50, 60 pounds if I fed her right. Right now she's a little lean. You can see her, you can see her uh, muscles in a little bit. I don't like to keep her like this all the time. It's more for hanging and it's more like a, a sight hound build. You know how sight hounds are real thin, like an Azawak or like a Greyhound can be real thin. It's because it's meant to work real good. Well, these dogs have cross-ins from different types of dogs, like Dobermans and stuff like that, I heard. I haven't G DNA tested them, but they said that they use a lot of stuff like that. And they also use game pits in some of these lines. And that's why some of them are harder than other ones. Um, but 
Uh, game pits have a sight hound in them, but the whole point is that you want to have a highly functional, fast paced dog. And that's the thing to do. Uh, what am I saying? That's the uh, the look of the of the dogs, and that's the thing to do to get them to be leaned out like this, okay? And 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 work them like this because they can hang better. You see, now I have control over her, like I said. But if I fed her right, she's 50, 60 pounds all day. She's a military grade dog, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be giving her to a decoy that I've had issues with, um, but you know, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna try to hash stuff out with him. And you see how driven she is? She's extremely driven. But I have control over her the whole time, okay? Because I'm 320 pounds, okay? And your dog's not taking a full grown person one on one, okay? I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Unless that dog pokes a hole in an artery or your neck, there's nothing that that, that dog is gonna be able to do to me, okay? I'll just grapple her like this all day and flip her on her back if I wanted to. And she's not gonna be able to do shit, okay? So, and she's military grade size. Now, if she bites you, it's gonna suck. You're gonna get a hole, but other than that, you ready, Tiger Wolf? Big hit! Big hit! And, uh, you know, yeah, so I'll, I'll do it one more time for anybody who wants to see. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on how to stop dogs and dog attacks and how to break officers' dogs off of grips and stuff like that. Uh, because apparently every officer out here doesn't know what the fuck they're doing for the most part. Uh, so a good way to get them off is essentially, uh, like I said, if you get into that neck area, you can poke them off real well. Uh, you can also do rear naked chokes and I'll show that next. Well, or even darts choke. Any type of choke that you really can get a good hold of this area right here in the neck. Okay, that's a good choke. And watch, if I squeeze that, I don't know if I can And she'll try to shake away and kick my face and everything but now she's popped off you see what i'm saying and then you go right back to <laughs> go back to being psycho dog okay she's the craziest dutch shepherd on earth i promise you that there isn't a one on earth other than her that can hang for six hours on and off every single day we do it every day pretty much I mean, like so do this all fucking day I spin her around everyone's seen my videos spin her around uh, she can destroy animals certain dogs uh, can't keep her with certain dogs because they'll get into a fight because she's a real savage dog uh, that, she's been a gem dog and she's my favorite dog uh, yeti might turn out to be my favorite if i can get him to work better but you know have you seen anything about me just know i'm a troll i like to fuck with people they think that they know everything um, and I'll set it up to make myself look bad to watch people squirm when I show people what I can really do so it's kind of funny with that what the? you see all the damage that she does with claws that's why claws are good because if you look at my arms the claws is what causes extra damage and you can get infections from that if you're a bad guy she can even claw you so deep that it goes the second layer if she was really digging at you hard enough for a longer period of time she can just keep doing that with certain claws and it will actually go a quarter inch or a half inch even if she kept doing it hard enough they have really sharp claws people who say they don't have sharp claws are crazy some of these claws are sharp you know they can they can callus at the end and they'll be almost cat-like uh and they will get you um i never want to be bit with her teeth though she doesn't have that big of a teeth she's kind of a smaller dog but she's got at least over a half an inch and that will consistently when bite, biting on the same area that can open you up in minutes to the point where you can die uh, just from blood loss and getting bit in the artery but the bigger dogs are the harder ones to grapple and stuff like that because you're going to be burnt out by the time you even kill them you know what i mean but and choke them off or kill them you know if you have to in a situation where somebody's dog gets loose or you know something like that so uh i'm not advising people to do violence against dogs obviously i'm um, trying to just explain to you how to survive a dog attack uh, and that jujitsu does work is the most effective martial art on earth in general uh, you need to know strikes and grappling and wrestling in general but the, for base martial arts wrestling and jujitsu are number one for a reason wrestling because of the work ethic involved and jujitsu because of the actual ability to kill something so chokes work on almost all animals uh, anybody who tells you that 
uh, the, I mean, otherwise of that is a psychopath uh, or stupid. You know, I don't know how you can see that. But the point is that it don't matter if I'm doing woo stampers. That's my face, by the way. Go get it! Go get it! He's a little, a little psycho right now. But look, so if you want to get a, a rear naked choke, right, and she's hanging, all right, if you, let's say you get right, right here behind her, okay? And you, hold on, Tiger Wolf. Watch my face. I don't want to get cut in the eye. So if you get behind her like this, right? And she's kind of, you know, gets in my face because she knows not to get choked. Like I said, she, she's smart, so she gets it. She knows what's going to happen. So I'm going to like this, and I'm going to get right here, right? If you get right here, this is a real easy choke to do because it gets her off quickly because of the vast suffocation ability of this area that you put on her basically like it's a, got a real vast area it's covering and pressure with the rear naked choke it's like being choked by anaconda okay you look at my biceps compared to her neck right all it takes is a coupling right here you see in this neck area right here you go like this and you pop see how she doesn't like it and if she's squirming and you really got to get a good choke on her you got to lock down on that head like this and you got to make sure she don't turn back into your face you see and now she's getting choked and she wants out all right so it works just like that and with bigger dogs it's much harder their necks are like mike tyson but you know mike tyson's neck but you can definitely do it still get tiger get tiger the video. <laughs> Tiger Wolf, out. Come here. Hit. Hit. Big hit. Uh, Tiger Wolf, come here. Tiger Wolf. Put that down. Down. Tiger Wolf, down. Out. Tiger Wolf, big hit. Come here. Come here. She's getting a little hot. You can just say you don't want to do it. But anyway, you know, that's basically the gist of what I'm saying. Um, you know, people can, can say whatever they want, talk shit, you know, about what I do. Uh, at the end of the day, I have proof and none of you guys have proof of the shit you say, which is that dogs always stop people and are all man stoppers. Tiger Wolf, like I said, if I fed her right, would be 60s at least. Uh, and people, even if they get bit and they're on the verge of getting fucked up by a dog, they're going to fight your dog to the death. Okay, so a lot of them do. Canines die literally all the time. Uh, I don't think that, I used to think that canine deaths were the, were most associated with getting killed by people, but apparently it's canines in the hot car that is the most deaths. But canines all the time get killed by people though, regardless. Um, you know, even though cops kill them via overheating, canines in the car uh, genuinely, or I mean, uh, canines, Getting killed by people is genuinely a big thing, and I'm trying to design a dog to stop that because the more game a dog is, the harder it is to kill. Uh, but ultimately, any dog that's small and handheld is going to be um, extremely, extremely uh, easy to kill. Um, so uh, I, I advise if you want man stalkers to get big dogs and you still need to send more than one, I suggest sending two or three dogs at minimum uh two because if you're engaging with the dog or i mean if you're engaging with dogs and they engage the hands uh if one dog is on each hand trying to attack the hands then you have a chance for your dog pack to win um if your dogs are i mean if, the, if there's three of them then then the third one while those two are engaging the hands the other one can come in and grab the nuts or some other vital spot or the face uh that's a real good place i always say vitals are the best groin nut sack face eyeballs you know uh hands are the most effective shit to use um but yeah i mean you're just not going to uh you're not going to um what's it called uh tell me anything otherwise i've been grappling dogs so long and like i said i'm a troll you know everybody like people have even taken videos of me when i was trolling and they think that they got me you know because oh he's never done it to a real attacking dog and stuff i have scars on my hands that's from my own dogs okay that, that was from comet who's a 120 pound akita when you fed him right you know if i fed him to like show weight 120 pounds had at least 500 pounds of bite force i'd say crack you open like an egg okay i don't mean he's winning Okay, he don't want to bite me no more. Okay, let's just put it that way. 
Okay, I'm not uh, advising people to seriously harm dogs or anything like that, but sometimes if you give a dog a two-piece and a soda, you know, he won't try to attack you no more. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with self-defense, okay? I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I don't care if you're a cop, if you're a fucking FBI. I don't, I don't give a fuck about anything, or if you're a PETA, I don't give a fuck, okay? No dog is going to attack me and not get a two-piece and a soda. And whether that's a Darth choke or a real two-piece and a soda, you know you know or, or kicking the ribs you know like they're gonna stop and the only dogs that really are, are bred not to stop in those situations are game dogs american people terriers are the most dangerous thing that's ever walked the face of the earth if they decide to kill you okay because other animals like lions and stuff like that you could stab them in the eye and they'll stop okay pit bulls will not stop Game bred animals do not stop, and this is why I say that there needs to be a game canine, okay? Because that would change the whole dynamic of everything, okay? If there was, if it was a, if you can get a game bred canine, okay, uh, out of, um, you know, production, and like, I mean, if you could produce consistently a game bred canine, you would have the world's most effective weaponized dog that military and police can, police can use, and that's what I've been designing for years. Uh, I have the highest jumping dog on record. I have the longest hanging canine on record. Uh, uh, you know, Tiger Wolf has, has uh, you know, done some things. Uh, she is a real badass fucking dog. I'll, I'll give you that. I don't even want to say what she's done, but let's just put it this way. Is that, you know, she can fight her ass off. And she is really like a little demon. And she can be built like a sight hound. You know, I can cut her down lean to like a sight hound. Okay. And... It is functional, you know, and having long claws is functional, you know, so, and, you know, Pete, like I said, people will try to talk shit like this, you know, the guy I'm even giving her to will say, you know, oh, you know, she had ringworm or something like that and all this other stuff because they try to get you. They always try to get you and make you look bad. At the end of the day, ringworm is treatable, you know what I'm saying? And, and stuff like that is treatable. I'm not perfect. I'm constantly dealing with dogs. I'm not always checking every single dog every 10 seconds. I'm always working. Okay. It's hard. But, you know, I've gotten better at it, you know, I learned my lessons, you know, and um, yeah, man, I just, I keep at it, like, and I'm gonna make this breed, whether they like it or not, okay, uh, I'm gonna make it the best in the world, and I'm only gonna give it to police officers, and I'm gonna explain to them, um, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff on how to take care of them and, and, and manage them, okay, um, like I said, I am one hell of an actor, and I'm one hell of a troll, so, you know, because I just find it hilarious that people try to get you all the time and I give it to them. I, I'll, I'll say I eat babies. I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I, I kill kids in Saudi Arabia or some shit and people will believe it. So because they're dicks and they don't know shit about the world and they don't know what the truth is about anything because they just hear stuff and they assume and they're pieces of shit. So gossip is the is one of the most devilish things I've ever seen. So.